by uh, Benjamin Dube. Thank you, Jesus, your cancer. Yes, so for all that you have done for us, all the sacrifice, the love, the miss, and the grace that we're experiencing now in our life. Before we get into our show today, I just want to talk about direction. I want to talk about self-mastery. If you are to be on the side of the road and you are looking for a lift and a car stops, you don't decide to get into the car because of the quality of the car. You decide to get into the car because the driver is going where you are going. Whenever you go to the airport and you have money, you don't buy a ticket because the flight is leaving in the next few minutes. You buy the ticket because the pilot is going to the same direction or destination as you. Even though you're not in control of the journey, the decision to get into the journey starts with you. But unfortunately, in our life, we take a different route. In our life, we tend to get into a car because it's luxurious. We tend to get into a car because it's like a music work out. We get to get into the car because we like the driver. When we're at the airport of life, we tend to take the next flight because we're tired of just sitting and waiting. We tend to take the next flight because if I get into this flight, I'll be in first class rather than economy class. What I mean by that is that instead of making decision personally first, we tend to allow the world to dictate and we jump into whatever the world has decided. Most of us don't know where we're going. We follow people. We follow those who have got money. We follow those who are great leaders. Without yet understanding, is a great leader going the same direction as me? That's why today you meet so many young people out there and say, Hey, Bonk, can you phone them? I'm like, what's the problem? But uh, Bonk, I'm looking for the right partner. I'm struggling to find the right partner. But that's a wrong approach. You first have to be the right partner. And once you are the right partner, you know which type of partner can match you. Hey, bonk, I'm struggling to find a job. I'm struggling to do one, two, three, four. But most people don't yet know what they are good at. They have not invested in themselves. They're just searching and, and, and looking for opportunities where there's more money. Self-mastery is critical. It's important in knowing who to partner with. If you don't understand who you are, you won't have an idea or a vision who to work with. And it's one speaker once said that in this world, it's either you build your own dreams or someone else will hire you to build theirs. Bottom line, there's going to be building in your life. Bottom line, there'll be traveling in your life. Bottom line, there'll be movement from point A to point B. But you have to decide which one is your point B. If you don't know, the world will pull you. You will never have anything that you own. The world will pull you out of your Garden of Eden, into its own Garden of Eden. The unfortunate thing about you being in its Garden of Eden, you don't have the same powers that you have in your own Garden of Eden. Whatever you work for in its Garden of Eden doesn't belong to you. Your children will never inherit it. It's all about them. So I want to encourage you today, invest in knowing you. Invest in understanding you. Invest in building you. Invest in knowing where you are going. Once you get that right, then it's easy to decide between A, B, C, D, E. Not based on luxury. Not based on the type of driver. Not based on the music that you'll be enjoying. But based on your destination. Never get into a bus unless you are 100% sure that the bus is going the same direction as where you are going. Because that bus might get you lost. It might be luxurious inside. You might be served uh, maguinha, archer, everything great inside. But if the journey is going the wrong direction, you, your children, and the next generations are going to get lost. May God bless you.